two were totally screwed. Why two K one two? And so are you. Why two K one two? Boots. Why two K one two? Hi, I'm Saint. You may remember me from such films as Devil Dog and The Devil Inside Me. But let's face it, my popularity has dropped. Big time. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to introduce myself. And I certainly wouldn't have to remind you about what films I've been in. So, I am starting the Save Satan fundraiser. I'm starting a fundraiser for the vices of humanity. These days, I don't have the same kind of funds as I used to for sex, lies, drugs, extortion, booze, music, sex. The things you know you love. Because let's face it, nobody wants to be virtuous. They just don't want to go to hell. So, instead of donating to the church, open your hearts and your wallets to the new Save Satan fundraiser because I will give you what you know you want. Today, an official change in the turbulent recent history of an American state. After weeks of riots and guerrilla warfare, officially all of the white supremacist population of Idaho have been expelled. The now purely Asian, Hispanic, and black community has changed the name of said state from Idaho to Utaho. In a related story, the adjacent state of Utah has ordered all exclamation points be removed from state license plates in lieu of the fact that having so many ethnic neighbors leaves Mormons far less excited to live there. And now, an update to our top story regarding the fact that we're still reporting on the globe's poor, doomed misanthropes until it wanes in ability to distract you slobbering masses from your daily lives. Label in the motherfucking picture because that's who pays me, motherfucker. Under Armour, go buy yourself some to be cool like me. That's right. Always remember to buy Under Armour. Every time you're at the motherfucking store, I'll come down and shoot you in the face. <laughs> I think Under Armour will pay you for that. One, two, three, one, two. Could you send Rini into my office? <laughs> well, don't ignore your secretary duties now. Come on. That's receptionist. Yeah, whatever. Hello. Oh, Mr. Rini, just the person I want to... Uh, tall? Mr. Tald? No, Mr. Rini. Mr. Tald Rini. Oh, Todd. No, not Todd. Tall. D. Like tall. D. Anyway, tell Miss V, I'm sorry I'm late, but I am here and ready to negotiate our contract whenever she is. Mr. Rini's here. Oh. Yes, uh, I wanted to tell you Whoa. the terms of your- Don't you just barge into my office like that without talking to the receptionist? What kind of place do you think this is? Uh, sorry. Jeez, um, would you please inform Miss B that I believe the terms of the contract are unreasonable? Rini wants to renegotiate. Well, you can tell Rini that there are a lot of construction companies that are willing to kiss my- I mean, take that off. You know, I happen to know for Whoa, a fact. Whoa, hold on. Please wait your turn. Sorry. Uh, sir, there are plenty of construction companies that have put it in bids. Sir. Yeah, I know. I realize that. But I happen to know for a fact that her demands for the Wayne Construction Company are not nearly so high. So if she wants it done at that price, she's going to have to throw in an additional five acres, another tractor pull, and a billy goat. He knows you're bluffing. He wants some cool shit thrown in to sweeten up the deal. Well, how about you tell him he can have a cool wristwatch, a sandwich, and a mockingbird? 
magical wristwatch, a sandwich, an insulting bird? No, 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 and no, no. You know what? It's, it's, make it ten acres of that prime uh, riverfront property you guys have right nearby. He's going for the throat, Mrs. B. Tell him to piss off. Hey, now you listen here. Whoa, hold on. Please wait your turn. Apologies. You can forget about the uh, prime real estate. That's going to the hotel contract right next door. Uh, might I suggest something more in the, uh, I don't know, like cheap press department? Might I suggest something in the piss off department? What? Why you? Hey, my name's not you. It's what? Tald. Mr. Tald Reeney. Well, Mr. Reeney, what, what? please wait your turn. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. It's my turn? Well, it's not very clear now, is it? You know what? How about a year's supply of tuna? Annual fish tribute. For who? For who? For the billy goat that you're going to throw into this offer. How about one free lunch and a Christmas email with a picture of a billy goat? For the entire crew. For the entire crew. Bonus munchies and for your entire crew, a cool email with a picture of a no. billy goat? No. No. Absolutely not. It's got to be a real billy goat. And I don't give a shit about my crew, and absolutely no one is to get a Christmas email. He wants a duck, a paddle, five anchors, uh -huh. and you, <laughs> you know what? That is not at all what I said. The you welder's know, actually, magazine. What I really want is for Miss B here to make me a sandwich. What? How you insulting! Oh, Miss B, wait your turn, well, please. Wait your please, turn. This is my office. Please, please, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me do my receptionist duties Call here. This, this is, what? This is ridiculous. No, I can't believe that you keep no, doing this over and over. So, Go answer so, your phone, so, uh, would you? No, because no. I can't believe okay. I pay you no. people for this. Mm -hmm. one, two, three, one, two. Father, forgive me for... I have sinned so much since my last confession. Worry not, my dear. The Lord always reveals a way back to him. But I've been so unholy, Father. I've been blackmailing the priest who molested my sister. Yes, I believe we've spoken about this before. I know we did. But since then, I've demanded more from him. I had him meet me an hour ago at a diner to drop off another payment. Why are you telling me this? Because I want to know what I must do to cleanse my soul of this transgression. And you don't see a conflict of interest telling this to me, specifically. Are you not a servant of God, sworn to guide your flock toward eternal salvation? Yes, but I'm also the priest that you're blackmailing for molesting your sister. So? So, you don't see any problem with me telling you what to do to have God forgive you for blackmailing me. Well, if God's all-powerful, then He can still speak through you, despite what despicable things you might get up to with your body, when He's not using you as a conduit for all that is good. Okay, then. Your sister always liked it when I attached electrodes from her ass to her nipples and cranked the voltage till she vomited steam. So, why don't we give that a try? Whatever will get me back in the good graces of our Lord. Yeah. I think that ought to do it. Come by my place around seven-ish. Should I wear a nun's uniform? <laughs> no. Let's go with the nurse uniform this time. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. You got a pest problem? A big pest problem. Now, you got some. We've got some kind of rodent. They're really rodent. big. Oh, 
big teeth. Yeah, probably big ass. Yeah. yeah. Scratch it. Okay. Yeah, they scratch rodents, yeah. a lot. We can do that. We can definitely. So if you could get like um your gun or your no, smoke mouth. No, or I don't use the guns, the smokes, the uh, the traps, the poison. They don't they don't work well with rodents. They take don't. forever, take forever. I have something okay. we're gonna get rid of your rodent problem today. Really right fast. now. I've got it. We gotta take it. Wonderful. Right here. Okay. Yes, this here should do the trick. Oh. This is our finest rodent destructor and detector. Oh. Bellissima, he all have taken care of matter of minutes. Minutes. One, two, three, one, two. Hey. Oh, Shiloh, hey, what's hey, up? Daniel. What's, hey, what's hey, the matter? Hey. You look a little upset. Yeah. We're gonna have to cut the fork sketch. What? Why? I mean, someone will think it's funny. Yeah, but uh, it's not even a clever play on words like your pen sketch, you know? But it appeals to the 18 to 32 year old demographic okay, as you know well what? as. St stick a fork in it. You're done. find it though. our destination. No, no, I'm not doing this one. I'm not doing this one. I played the pedophiliac priest. All right, you owe me. You agreed to do this. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right, all right. You know what, but that sketch was actually funny. This... You know what? I don't give a fork, just do the sketch. This is forking stupid. I don't even give a shit that it's a cool fork. <laughs> Just do the forking fork sketch. You know what? How about this? Fork this sketch and fork you. We do have a while. Indeed, it will be an entire fork night before we reach our destination. No, no, not <laughs> Right there. Here's your sword. Sword? <laughs> what do I need a sword for? You know, to fight the bad guys. Bad guys? Yes, for honor and glory. To right the wrongs in this world and celebrate all that is just and good. I don't know. I don't even want to do that. Well, take comfort in the fact that you have a shield. Shield? Yes, to protect you from flaming and piercing, possibly poisonous tipped arrows. <laughs> I'm gonna be shot at by arrows? <laughs> yes, but don't look at it that way, look at it this way. You'll be thought of as a hero. You'll be paid handsomely. Hell, you might even wind up getting the girl. <laughs> girl? <laughs> What's a girl? Y2K, one, two, we're totally screwed. Y2K, one, two, and so are you. Y2K, one, two, boots. Y2K, one, two. Should I press stop on the computer? Oh, yeah, yeah.
Shiloh. Oh, hey, Danielle. What's, What's up? up? Oh, we have to cut the fork sketch. Fuck me. God damn it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, two.